I, I think as far as Avatar, the, the real challenge, more than the 3D aspect of it, was the virtual production. Um, the, uh, our workflow for cutting performance capture and pre-cutting uh, character performances before we actually shot the virtual camera shots was uh, an innovation that I think um, changed uh, the way we approach things in terms of editing. The film basically had to be edited twice, first in performance and then with virtual camera shots. But um, 3D was, was an, a, an interesting aspect of it, but it wasn't um, the, the major challenge of the production. And you show the uh, kind of picture-in-picture -picture screens that you use for the virtual uh, cameras, um, the, the characters. It's, it reminded me of multi-cam. Yeah, well, it was just a way that we could look at a documentation of what the performance capture was. It was our only creative, uh, our, our way to make a judgment, creative judgment calls based on the performance because you can't edit the metadata that's captured in a performance capture, you have to have some kind of reference and be able to edit the performance. So that's what we used and we would, we would create a, a, a form of cut that would give us an idea of what the scene might look like, but it wasn't necessarily what it looked like at all in the final form. That was just a way to analyze the performance and see if it was working in the context of the scene. Was your training as an editor helpful in any way leading into this product uh, or project, or did it just get all thrown out the window and become a whole new ballgame? Well, I think everything you learn kind of accumulates and you draw on all of your experience in every new experience.